For almost two weeks, controversy has swirled around the arrival of migrants in Schenectady County, but quietly, there's also a large group of people working to help them. Kumi Tucker reports from Rotterdam. A group of volunteers, including many Mahanasin teachers, got together pretty quickly. They're collecting donations, and they say they want to change the narrative. That these are our new neighbors and that we welcome them here in Rotterdam. Um, I think that we need to rise above all of the politics and just focus on these are human beings who need our help. On Friday, people went to St. Gabriel's to take what they need, all from donations. We need clothing of all sizes, shoes of all sizes, infant formula, baby food, all cell phones, they don't have a way to communicate and let their families know that they're okay. Back in Peru, Venezuela, Russia, uh, China, because we have people from all over. Volunteers have a Facebook group, Allies for Justice, Schenectady County. I reached out to the teachers of Mahanasin because I'm a Mahanasin teacher and um, I have had 30 to 40 volunteers who want to help, donate things. Our dining room is filled with donations. At the Sherman House, items keep coming in and offers of help, even for bicycle for transportation. People can get to work if they have work or they can get to local stores um, so they're not walking um, the miles because, you know, we're in a suburban setting. It's not like they can just walk down the street uh, to go to a department store. The ousting of motel residents and arrival of the migrants has caused concern and some anger in the community, but volunteers want to focus on the positive of helping other people. They're just moms and dads like us with children and they just, they just, they don't want a handout. They want to work. The newly formed Allies for Justice will be accepting donations here at the Rotterdam Community Center on Curry Road every Thursday night from 5 to 7 p.m. In Rotterdam, Kumi Tucker, News Channel 13.